Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Connect them to your wireless network by pressing the WPS button on the router and then on those devices. WPS automatically sends the network password, and these devices remember it for future use. They will be able to connect to the same network in the future without you having to use the WPS button again. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Press the WPS button on the router to establish a connection. Depending on the router and the home configuration, it may take a few minutes to connect. Notes: Most routers have a light that flashes while the connection is established. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. If you don't have a WPS button on your hub router, you can set up your extender using the web-based setup with an internet browser. Important, before following these instructions, make sure your computer is not connected to the internet, unplug its ethernet cable or disconnect from your Wi-Fi network. Take our lead. WPS works by allow us to join a Wi-Fi network without needing to know the network password. You simply push the WPS button on the router, join the network and you're in. Unfortunately, WPS is horribly insecure and can be used as a means for attackers to gain access to your network. This is why we disable WPS. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! To connect to a WPS-enabled router, press the WPS button on your router or access point. Press and hold down the Wi-Fi button on your product for 3 seconds. Note, be sure to press and hold the Wi-Fi button on your product within 2 minutes of pressing the WPS button on your router or access point. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.